are still inside Edo State. So one group within the call Joint Forces for Defense of Democracy for inside Edo State. They don't enter street of Benin City, the state's capital. They reject the proposed loan request from the state governor Godwin Obaseki of like a 20 billion naira. The coordinator for the group, Emmanuel Aikbogun and Don Samayan, give newsmen for the protest, say they develop in no day only worrisome, but today wicked, reckless, and an attempt to take mortgage the future of Edo youth. Mr. Aikbogun Samayan say Edo State currently gets one of the highest domestic debt profiles, and we stand on about 84.76 billion naira, and even self at the highest external debt profile for the South South region, we amount to like 257 million dollars as of March 2020. And Mr. Samayan say to take loan few weeks before the state governorship election, say na badness, say make them no agree at all. The House of Assembly, the governor has pocketed the House of Assembly where we can no longer get people to represent our interests. So because of that fact, we had to come out this morning in mass, despite the fact that most of our comrades are here to join us, to deposit our, our position over the fact that the governor is not permitted to borrow that money. And to also tell the borrowee that any money they borrow, they will look for African Invest to pay that money. We, as those citizens, do not want any money. The money we have voted to our governor over 400 billion dollars to run the affairs of this state within the last three years is enough if he intends to carry any developmental project with borrowing not at this point in time not when we want to do elections because we all know that the moment that money is sourced to the governor the way they shared money during the primaries he conducted is the same way they are going to share our taxpayers money and we are saying no to that we are aware and we know that that group was sponsored by Osagi Zayamu. You know, today he appeared in court for his corruption uh, trial for 700 million uh, money laundering. He did this as a strategy to try to deflect the attention of the public from the trial that he is undergoing at the at the Federal High Court in Benin. Uh, but uh, those people are not stupid. Uh, the real deal today, the real news today is that Isaiah Mo, a person who is trying to, to be elected to be to the highest office in this land, you know, he's been tried for, for money laundering, you know, and that that's a serious damage to his character. Uh, in other crimes, a person like him should not be asking to be voted.